Hi all my truth seekers, welcome to the truth show. In this video I will discuss the alleged rumor of Jay-Z finding the R. Kelly Lifetime Butcher series. I was taken by shock. I had no idea. The thought of Jay-Z sponsoring this Butcher series would put Jay-Z slash Sean Carter on the lines of serious, serious obsessiveness. Does he still have a thing for Aliyah and still hate that R. Kelly had her or anyone else for that matter? To the point they all had to be destroyed for either not saving her or was it something darker? Let's find out together. Please note that this is all alleged. I've never met any of these people. I've deeply researched all of my information. Here we go again. I mean, this is the truth show oh, and there's more. Oh, I'm not done yet. Oh, and there's more. Oh, I'm not done yet. I mean, this is a truth show. Oh, yes. This is a trigger warning. In this video, I may be talking about or showing sensitive material about some subjects or topics that may be disturbing or upsetting or may bring forth some troubling memories, as you've read in the description or title. With that said, either end the video now or brace yourself. Aside from that, enjoy. You believe it? It's a strategic move aimed at overturning his conviction. But here's where it gets interesting. R. Kelly's legal team alleges that two jurors on his case watched the explosive documentary series Surviving R. Kelly, funded by Jay-Z. They argue that these jurors should never have been selected. And you know why? Well, it turns out R. Kelly won a massive $70 million lawsuit against Jay-Z. Could that be the motive behind this shocking revelation? He put his money be behind a project that, that cost this man his life in prison. Well, could because I got faith that R. Kelly gonna get out now. And now, disgraced rapper R. Kelly has filed an appeal in his case in New York after he was sentenced to 30 years in prison for sex trafficking and racketeering. In documents obtained by TMZ, Kelly put forth multiple arguments for why he believes the conviction should be overturned, ranging from a potentially biased jury to claims he was misled about the age of the minors he had relationships with. Kelly is seeking to have the appeals court reverse his convictions to order a new trial. The appeal was filed by his attorney, Jennifer Bongine. Rumors have it that R. Kelly planned to snitch on several celebrities he knows are keeping their own dark secrets from the public. Kelly, who is notoriously known for his former alleged relationships with a number of underage victims, has reportedly seen the R&B singer want to take vengeance against people in the industry who didn't appear to have his back after his incarceration. Now, in a desperate attempt to reduce his prison sentence, the step in the name of love chart topper wants out some of the biggest traffickers in Hollywood, which supposedly includes a rapper and a big singer. R. Kelly and his team are working with the feds to reduce his prison time. He'll provide evidence against other celebrities who are pedophiles and they'll reduce his sentence. His lawyers also claimed at least four of the jurors revealed they prejudged his guilt before officially submitting their verdict. The story attracted so much attention on Twitter that R. Kelly's name began trending, with fans questioning who could potentially be outed by the disgraced Grammy winner. Despite his guilty verdict, Kelly's team issued a statement to his Facebook page. To all my fans and supporters, I love you all and thank you for all the support. Now, we all know that the music industry has a dark underbelly, right? But did you ever hear R. Kelly talking about it? A close associate reveals some jaw-dropping insights. According to him, R. Kelly has always been vocal about the hidden side of the music industry. The parties, the strange rituals, and the disturbing activities that happen behind closed doors. It has been reported that Jay-Z was allegedly behind the R. Kelly Lifetime Butcher series. I know, and I was shocked too. Now, before I get into the receipt connections, yes, your girl has plenty of receipts. Let's take a trip back at what may have happened with these two. Where it all began. Back before the Ignition remix, before Beyonce and Blue Ivy, the two heavy hitters of the industry, R. Kelly and Jay-Z, did the unthinkable and teamed up to release a duo of albums that would result in one of the most disastrous moments in hip-hop. Oh, yes. Initially, it seemed like a great idea. Their first collaboration was when R. Kelly did a hook on Jay-Z's Guilty Until Proven Innocent. At the same time, Jay was accused of stabbing his former business partner, Lance Un Rivera, 
So this song was Jay vocal rebuttal to the media's portrayal of him uh, as nothing more than a guilty crook who kills, steals, and destroys. So that was the reputation that Jay-Z had before his, you know, hookup with Beyonce who really clinked up his image. She has no idea how she clinked up this man image. So when Jay returned the favor on R. Kelly's Fiesta remix and suddenly found themselves with a smash hit collaboration, the proposition was made for the two to record an album. After all, I mean, they complement each other with this delivery destined for success. I mean, they were perfect, right? Now, before release of the best of both worlds was speculated to become a huge hit and i'm sure it would have been i mean anything r kelly touched became gold or platinum anyway but weeks before it officially dropped on march 26 2002 the chicago sun times received a now infamous sex tape purported to feature r kelly in the minor yes Rumor was, Jay-Z was behind the leak because he was jealous of R. Kelly. After all, R. Kelly was getting all the attention during their tour and appearances, among other reasons, I'm sure. You all know Jay has been told to be a bully while he was on tour with R. Kelly. Heck, it was even leaked that while on tour with Kanye, he and Kanye used to get into it because Kanye wanted to do, you know, he wanted to add more lights and graphics to the tours and things of that nature. And Jay didn't want to, so they argued a lot. I mean, you have seen the minimal graphics on the run tour with uh, Beyonce to versus Beyonce is known to do when she tours alone. <laughs> do I give my drift? Okay, so let's move on. So after the release of R. Kelly's sex tape, their label Def Jam cut promotional efforts and canceled the release. Next thing you know, the best of both worlds was no more than a rumor. But... What's weird and many people questioned, why would he agree to make an album with R. Kelly in the first place, knowing what he did to Aaliyah? Damon Dash even questioned this. Take a look at this. I got a girl that your man raped. It's crazy. Right? Yeah. And you going and I tell you, when you like, you're gonna still work with him, what you gonna feel? So publicly, that man did a, a record with that a nigga girl that raped my girl that he liked as well, right? Right. And and, and then went on a tour with him. And the problem I really have with that more than just R. Kelly is the people that were complicit enablers allowing this stuff to go on and seeing this stuff going on and didn't do anything about it. Damn and Dash has opened up about the fact that Jay-Z and R. Kelly groomed late singer Aaliyah despite the fact that they both knew she was underage and it appears their relationship played a role in Rockefeller's downfall. In a recent interview with Kenyatta Griggs, Rockefeller co-founder and Jay-Z's longtime friend Dame Dash said he tuned into surviving R. Kelly. The explosive three-night special that explores the unsettling sexual abuse allegations against R. Kelly and that he still feels revolted by it. Dash told Griggs that the series wasn't easy to watch because it evoked painful memories about Aaliyah who was once the love of his life and strangely also Jay-Z's ultimate crush. Dash claimed that he had watched as much as he could tolerate and as a human he felt tight and hurt by the scenes he was seeing. He claimed watching a girl trying to put her pain and the events to words but she couldn't and all he could think about is how Aaliyah also struggled to explain what happened to her only for her to leave it at. That dude was a bad man. What seemed to have hurt Dash the most is the fact that his partner Jay-Z knew about Kelly's alleged misconducts with underage girls, including Aaliyah and even though there have been rumors circulating that Jay-Z also liked her, he still supported Kelly and even teamed up with him to produce an album a few months after Aaliyah's death. Dash himself claimed he couldn't do anything about the situation on what R. Kelly had done to Aaliyah but he never intended to be associated with him, not after realizing the kind of man he actually is. I believe he was obsessed with Aaliyah and wanted to get close to the man she gave her heart to. Insecure people tend to do that to anyone threatening to take their partners. They befriend, emulate, and then destroy. You don't believe this is real? Well, look at how many celebs have done it.
back to Jay-Z. He too did this. He befriended and emulated. And then by learning about their business, getting involved and destroying them from the inside out. He did this to anyone who had a connection with Aaliyah. That's how he did it. Oh yeah. How dare she choose R. Kelly and Demi Dash over me? They will pay. He tried to destroy R. Kelly, but his star power was way too bright at the time. So he destroyed Damon Dash, practically bankrupting him. Now everyone thought he had moved on from R. Kelly, whose career was almost old news, until R. Kelly did a self-remix of Beyonce's song, Like a Boy, and it was a hit. Not to mention a rumor of Beyonce having a crush on R. Kelly back in the day, but who didn't? Jay, then, now let's move on to the current news before I get deep into that. It has been reported that Jay-Z was behind the Lifetime R. Kelly Butcher series. Oh yes, you heard it correctly. Now I thought that this was sick and way too far. And why, for that matter? I mean, damn, he's still obsessed with Aaliyah after all these years? Or was he afraid of losing Beyonce to R. Kelly? Now before of all R. Kelly's allegations, Beyonce and R. Kelly would have been a power duo. Can you imagine their tours and duets? They would have been amazing. I mean, put aside all this bullcrap. Tell me, they would not have been a great duet or couple. Come on now, people. Let's be realistic here. So, what did Jay-Z do? He sabotaged and teamed up with the producer of many documentaries, Dream Hampton. An American filmmaker, producer, and writer. Her work includes the 2019 Lifetime Butcher series, Surviving R. Kelly, which she executive produced. She also wrote, yes, she also co-wrote, I'm sorry, Jay-Z's 2010 memoir, Decoded. You see the connection now. Now, it was reported that Dream and Jay collaborated to create this butcher series after learning that Dream was raped as a minor. Not sure by whom, and of course, among other reasons, I'm sure. Jay wanted to take R. Kelly down anyway, but he wanted to do it in secret. I mean, Jay-Z has minors in his closet too, if you know what I mean. I mean, this woman has accolades and is connected to Sean Combs too. Yes, aka P. Diddy, Sean Combs, yes. After all, she co-produced many of Notorious B.I.G. documentaries and then some. Oh yes, she's bad. Mm-hmm. You know what? I proved enough. Well, that's it. Let me know what you all think below. But oh, before I go, do you think Jay is innocent and all he wanted was just to destroy anyone who harmed or didn't protect Aaliyah, the alleged love of his life? Or did he want to destroy all who had Aaliyah? Because he didn't. I believe this theory because of these reasons. A. He's never spoken of or on an Aaliyah, not even so much as a freaking t-shirt. B, he teamed up with R. Kelly. You don't do that to anyone whom you think had something to do with the love of your life, death, or potential love of your life's death. C, he allegedly refused to allow Beyonce to go to her original hair color for too long. I mean, she'd do it for a moment and she'd right back to that blonde hair crap again. D, R. Kelly won the settlement against Jay-Z. Did you guys know that? And then E, you know, I believe I proved myself enough. Tell me what you all think. Do you think that he's still obsessed with Aaliyah? On that note, don't forget to subscribe, share, and like. And hit that bell so you get notifications when I do post my videos. See y'all later. Love you all. Bye.